What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Brennan, and I'm BMX45, and today we're coming at you with another video. We have our final two box openings for Special Booster 2.0 of the Digimon TCG. We've opened up 10 boxes so far. It's been a crazy run. Uh, these are our last two boxes and our last chance to pull a low pull rate. We have not got a low pull rate yet, although uh, we do did have eight boxes from the same case, uh, so unfortunately we might have missed it. Uh, we might have missed the chance if one of the four boxes that we didn't get um, from from this particular case had that low pull rate in it, but we're still hopeful that we might get the low pull rate. Uh, we hopeful that we want to see some more secrets that we need as well as box toppers that we need, uh, hoping that we don't pull doubles of what we've already got play sets of. And we're hoping to uh, potentially pull some more cool alts, some Lucimon stuff, some hybrid stuff that's not Velgramon um, uh, to kind of round this out and make this a little bit more lucrative for us because by the time we got our B our 2.0 uh the prices had crashed and of course we figured out why now because of the amount of supers because of the guaranteed secret and two alls in a box is why this set has uh decreased in value so quickly but we're gonna get into it and you can decide for yourself whether you think buying these boxes or just buying singles is more worthwhile at this point in time i'd say probably buying singles is a better plan but since we collect uh, we always get a good value out of buying our boxes, usually. Of course, it's more value when you get it at pre-release. But anyways, if you like this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of fun. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's open these last two boxes. We have a handy dandy knife here. Jesse Bessie's here to help us rip through these boxes real fast like usual. We will get into this here and see if we can't round out these boxes with some good pulls uh, uh, or or if we're going to be weeping <laughs> here and we have a few things that we're hoping to avoid we're hoping to avoid uh, Lucimon Satan mode in either alt or regular uh, we're hoping to avoid um, Sangomon's Koji and Machine Dramon box toppers. Oh, sorry, Takuya and Koji and uh, Machine Dramon box toppers. Uh, we're hoping to avoid <coughs> Valgramon because we have a full place out of that. And we're hoping to avoid. Um, I think there's another one that I have four of. Uh, uh, I think it's. Uh, well, Val I said Valgramon, but uh, Kazimon's another one that uh, we have a place out of. Sorry? Satan, Satan mode. I said Satan mode. So we got a third Koichi and a fifth Takuya combined. This is the only time I've got dual tamers. Every other pack has had a BT19 card in it. I did not think that this was a, a, a thing. That's hilarious. That's the only time. Well, we got a third Koichi, so that's cool. So we did pull a fifth copy of that. <coughs> and what, uh, what do we get from the... Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is kind of sucks because now we got a sixth copy of this and uh, and a, a fifth copy of this. So that was probably the worst. The only time that we pulled two tamers, we got this. The only time. Every other time it was a B, it was a tamer and a BT19 one. That is that is awful. That is actually awful. It's okay. These cards are dirt cheap anyways. So. Who cares? Let's see if we get can get a lucky pack secret. I highly doubt it, but there's Lord Nightmon Ace. And our other lucky pack is, yeah. I don't know what the ratio is on getting a secret from the lucky pack, but it's not great because we, out of 12, we were 0 for 12. So you tell me, you tell me what. What the math is on that? Well, we're starting out good. We got our first Susano Mon Ace, uh, which means we're not gonna go double double uh, Satan mode. So that's that's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, you take the wins where you get them. And if we're even luckier, we'll pull a Zed because Zed's the only secret. We need two of now. 
um, to finish its place at. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We will see. And now it's all up to the alts. <laughs> the alts and Azid. That'll dictate if this is good or bad. And the low pull rate. <coughs> I really hope there's a low pull rate. But, you know, you can't always win them. And I don't even know if it's guaranteed per case. But I saw a lot of pull, low pull rates coming. So I figured it was guaranteed per case. So, But we'll see. Watch it be the Satan mode. Should still actually be a good low pull rate. It's it's, it's still kind of uh, tinkering between 180 and and 230. I think 230 dollars. So that's not terrible value. Beelman. Oh, well, first alt. Mel Cavatari Mon. Not a not terrific value, but it's one that we don't have. We only only have one, so not a bad pull. Still have your secret. I think that Susano one was for mine. Yeah. It would have been cool to get some Patamons for in Koji and Takuya. Just milking it. It's always like one box topper that just loves the crap out of me. So in chaos mode. Patamon. It'd be cool to get a Lucimon alt card. I had a doubt it's gonna happen though. <laughs> now I got three more, three more potentials there. Okay, the other alt from Jess's box. Wow, we got a Lucimon card. Lucimon Chaos Mode Alt. That's a $30 to $40 card. That is a good pull. That is that makes it a little bit more worthwhile, these boxes. Especially after that. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't cracked a single one of my alts yet either. We still could have a low pull rate in either of these boxes. Interesting to see. And we still have just secret. Dynasmon Ace. Meh. It's one of my kind of, you know, 10 to 20 bucks, I think, at most. Actually, actually, you know what? It might be less than that. I lied. It might be less than that. Maybe less than $10. Who's the one chaos mode? Oh, okay. Well, we <laughs> we got another Susano Monace. Which would have been our fifth. So the Zed was the hardest one to pull. In 12 boxes, we got two Zeds. They're really un inexpensive anyway, so it really doesn't matter. The Zed uh, low pull rate, though, is actually worth... I think the most out of all the little pull rates, which is hilarious. 
if you think about it being the, the cheapest one all around. Come on. Oh, we got an alt millennium on that looks to be other alt again not that expensive of a card probably 10 to 15 bucks at most been really brought down by the whole set crashing uh, beetlemon on. koichi machine come on <coughs> well we got a couple more packs so um okay i don't think we're gonna get the little pull rate guys i just don't i don't see it coming um but you never know might we might have the last laugh Kumamon. Uh, last pack. Nope. No, no low pull rate this time, guys. I got lucky. I've been getting one like every set. Um, so you just can't, you can't win. You just can't win them all. But Loose Mon Chaos mode. Uh, I haven't had a single copy of him, so that's really cool. Um, so that's nice. And then, uh, and then at least we finished two of our secret play sets. Uh, let's do our super count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So again, I'm saying 12 per box, 12 supers per box. Uh, one out of 12 times where we didn't get, uh, where our box toppers were both from BT18. So that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, yeah, that was, I left a weird taste in my mouth. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that is the set, guys. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, this is our last box opening. Uh, we will not be crashing anymore 2.0. Tell me what you guys think overall. I'm gonna have so much bulk left over, it's not even funny. But, uh, it was enjoyable. It's always enjoyable opening packs. And now kind of the hunt begins for the stuff that I really want that I don't have. And honestly, hopefully by now it's all really cheap because like I said, the set has crashed. Uh, tell me your guys' thoughts down below. Do you enjoy these box opening videos? Uh, do you think that we kind of went all right or we lost a lot of value just for the fact that we had to wait so long? But let me know down below. In the comments, looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope to see you in the next video. And uh, as always, have a wonderful day. And that's all for now, folks.